This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, June 17th, through this coming Sunday, June 23rd, 2024. We're continuing with our messages for you to live a heart-based life. This is our sixth communication, and each of the past five Mondays, we've been building upon this important life-changing message so you can apply it to your life. Now, number six, here's what we've got for you. Your life will take on a profound level of serenity, of ease, once you start living from your heart. You've been seeking peace of mind, and that's exactly what living a heart-based life provides for you. Your heart gives you a foundational calmness, a foundational ability to trust in outcomes, a foundational centeredness. Your heart is the center of your being and therefore sets the tone for your foundational energy. Balance and peace of mind are the support beams of the heart. And you know, life is going to test you. Life is going to throw you curveballs and seemingly impossible hurdles, all in an effort to see how heart-based you truly are. So these are the challenges you find overwhelming at the beginning, overwhelming when you only allow your brain to address them. Challenges, because that's how the brain defines them. But your heart sees things differently. Challenges are chances to use your intellect and wisdom, the best possible use of your brain. Your heart knows without a doubt, no matter what, that things will be all right even better than all right, the less you interfere with ego-driven obstacles. If you can get out of your head and recenter into your heart, you will find the solutions appear as if by magic. If you can place some space between your ego expectations and your heart-based best outcomes, You'll allow your heart to work its magic, forming your strong foundation. And with your strong heart-based foundation, you can relax and enjoy life. You can trust in outcomes. You won't be derailed by changes, serenity, calm, trust balance, harmony, and peace of mind will be your main energies, <clears throat> helping you navigate life to the fullest. And you have so much support with this because it's the meaning of a fulfilling, happy life. You, whether you realize it or not, you are creating you're creating your life, you're creating energy as part of a wonderful team of guides and angels and entities of the highest white light. And you're loved, you're so very loved and needed. So helping you to understand the reality, the truth, and the ways and hows of living a heart-based life it's so important. And you can also, I know you have your specific life, so you can also tap into specifics just for you and just for your life. Have a reading. We can address anything, anything you'd like to address in your life, anything you need 
understanding and clarity for. Now, nine cards for the energy of this week. It's warm today. These cards are sticking together in the summer heat. Yep, see? Two there. All right. What is the energy of this week? <laughs> nice. Lay these out. Nice. Love the flow. All right. We are starting with you in the garden. <laughs> You in the garden enjoying all the things that you've worked for, all the things that you have created. You recognizing your success, recognizing your abundance, your prosperity. Very, very good energy there. But it's, it's you in that garden. This is just a starting just about you. And yes, you want to create more. You want to start something new, something that uses your intellect and your wisdom and your knowledge. And maybe you hold off on this a little bit because you're worried about getting started, that getting over that first hump. But once you do, it's going to be amazing. So don't hold back. Allow this energy to flow in your intuition you know what matters to you. The high priestess, she's your intuition. She's that link for you to ancient spiritual knowledge, which is the meaning of life, which is that absolute heart-based, amazing foundation for you. So realize this exists. Realize you're using it all the time and enjoy that. You have new opportunities. So I'm sort of looking here at this little corner, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and now the Four of Cups. Those cards working together. Yes, you had stuff going on in the past, but you're ready to move on. So don't stay stuck in the past. Don't keep telling the story of what happened before. Yes, it gave you this abundance right here that you're enjoying in your garden, but it also gave you the impetus for the new beginning, the new start. And there it is right up here. That's your new opportunity. It's divinely sent. You don't have to create it yourself. You just have to engage with it. You have to look forward to working with it and enjoying it. And then in the middle, we have judgment, which for me is ascension, which means you're rising up. You're coming out of the darkness. You're coming out of that dark box. You're hitting a higher vibration. You're hitting the knowledge and the wisdom of knowing, knowing the truth of life, knowing what matters, setting aside the drama and the chaos and just getting into that foundational goodness that your heart provides, that goodness that's going to allow you to approach everything from a higher vibrational level. It's going to absolutely give you better outcomes, better flow with everything you want. And yes, I know, I know you're dealing with some inner struggles and you don't feel like things are flowing. So have a reading for those. We can unpack those and help you absolutely get the momentum going and move on. The chariot doesn't move until you deal with those inner struggles. And then they jump up and the chariot flies. And that's what you're seeking to enjoy in your life. Don't get stuck <laughs> in beating yourself up. 
Don't get stuck in analyzing and overthinking things. All you're doing with that is wasting energy and life is too short to waste any energy. So pay attention to your thoughts. Are your thoughts loving, kind, it, you know, enriching your life? Don't have limiting negative thoughts, positive enriching thoughts to allow change allow change don't be afraid of change go into your heart and say okay what are the blessings of this what are the good things that can come out of this what is the better alignment because this time i'm going to trust in outcomes i'm going to trust in better better outcomes and our last card which is reinforcing that change the knight of wands a card that adores change a card that says change is amazing it's the better house it's the loving relationship it's the abundant job that you can't wait to go to it's all the things that you're looking forward to so allow that flow allow the change it's just going to make this better 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 all the goodness of what you are personally enjoying in your life so there you have it a lot to work with this week have fun with it and i look forward to seeing you next week bye bye